Why would I be shaking up a bottle of plain water? I'm not sure, but... You don't think it's plain water? No, because of all the... The bubbles, bubbles in there. Yeah. And what's inside, you know? Water and what? Um, type of gas. Yeah, carbon dioxide gas. Mm -hmm. So you want to open that slowly? I'll get the towel ready. Yeah. So you can see there's a lot of gas dissolved in the water. Okay. Yes. Well, here's another kind of water that has gas dissolved in it. Here, you want to wipe your hands off a little bit? Sure. I don't know whether you've ever had a chance to play with this, but if I tell you that it smells, you don't want to put your nose right over the top because scientists always do it like this. You smell it? Mm-hmm. What is it? I don't know, but it sure smells really strong. Yeah. It's ammonia. This time ammonia gas is dissolved in water. And because ammonia, will, a lot of uh, ammonia will dissolve in just a little bit of water, we can make a famous ammonia fountain. And here's what we'll do. Here's a baby bottle, okay? and here's the nipple, mm -hmm. which, which we're going to put on upside down. This is the way it normally is. We're going to turn it upside down so it goes like that. So we can do it like that. Okay. Then we're going to fill the bottle first with ammonia gas by taking the ammonia and putting it in this little frying pan, put some in the bottom, put the funnel on the top, and I want you to put the bottle over like that. So we fill the bottle with ammonia gas. So bring it over here. Oh, by the way, see that red liquid in there? Yep. When we get it filled with water or ammonia, you bring it over here and turn the bottle upside down and put it in there. Okay? Sure. Okay, add a little ammonia. Put the funnel in. Okay, you hold the bottle over the top. See, I have a, some tape on there, so that's sort of working as a pot pot holder. Okay, hold it nice and straight like that. I'll go get the baby nipple. Now, ammonia gas dissolves in water so quickly that once we get it filled with ammonia gas, and we put the nipple on upside down like this, one little drop of water has to get in there, and then a lot of ammonia gas will dissolve in it. That's going to lower the pressure here. And outside pressure on the liquid, that red liquid over there, is going to force it up inside. What's the matter? You keep turning away. The, uh, the ammonia that gas. ammonia is sure strong, isn't yeah. it? Well, that means we're, we're heating it and getting it out of the water in the, in the, in the front little frying pan. Let's leave it on there to get a good supply of ammonia. Then anyway, once we get a little bit of water in there and the ammonia gas starts dissolving in there, outside air pressure is going to push up and force some of that red liquid up. It should go all the way to the top through that little hole. And then the more water you get in, the more gas, right? Yeah. Okay. You know what to do now. What are you going to do? I'm going to take it off and you're going to put the nipple on then put it and over. Put it over the there. Rod. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, now, no water is getting up in there yet, right? Yep. So if, I, if you tip it off to the side, and I can squeeze it a little bit to get one little drop of water up in there. There it goes, see it? Yeah. See the water? It's, so it's all the way up the top. top. It's hitting the top. All right. That's because we're lowering the pressure by dissolving the ammonia gas in the water. You, you call it ammonia water, and your mother uses it to clean up stuff around the house probably never realized that it's plain old water with ammonia gas dissolved in it.